the bronchopulmonary segment. So in this we discuss the competency of the lung side, external features, the relations of structures, then the structures which form the root of lung, bronchial tree and the clinical correlate. Lung is uniquely designed to deliver oxygen to and removal of carbon dioxide from the circulation. Its intrinsic elasticity enables the lung to function as a cohesive unit. And lungs are protected by the rigid thoracic cage. Lungs are invested in the visceral pleura. They are located in the respective hemithoracic cavities. Separated by heart and the mediastinal structures and bordered inferiorly by the diaphragm. The normal weight of each lung in an adult is roughly 300 to 450 grams. Lung volume ranges from 3.5 to 8.5 liters for both lungs, and the right lung is slightly larger than the left. Then coming to visceral pleura. Lung is covered by visceral pleura. It wraps around the lung and reflected from mediastinal pleura at the hilum and the pulmonary ligament. The prominent pleural indentations or the relations include on the right side, groove for esophagus and superior vena cava and a cardiac impression. On the left side, cardiac impression is more pronounced and there is an indentation that is cardiac notch in the area of lingula. A prominent crook shaped aortic groove is located superiorly and also posterior to the left hilum. Lobes and fissures. The right lung is divided into three lobes, upper, middle and lower. Demarcated from one another by oblique fissure that separates lower from the upper and middle lobes. Then horizontal fissure that separates middle from the upper lobe. The left lung is composed of an upper and lower lobe separated by a single oblique fissure. Lingula represents the anterior and inferior division of the left upper lobe. It overrides the left ventricle. It is counterpart of the right middle lobe. Then anomalies, deviations in fissure anatomy are common. Usually the anterior aspect of, of the horizontal fissure is incomplete, allowing for collateral ventilation between the right upper and middle lobes. Deviation fissure formation are of greatest importance to the radiologist and to the surgeon, and to the surgeon when planning a lung resection. Azagus lobe, an azagus fissure is a vertically oriented cleft dividing the apical segment of the right upper lobe in 1% of anatomic specimens and 4% of chest radiographs it is seen. It is produced by downward invagination of the azagus vein with its pleural investment thus forming a mesoazagus. Azagus lobe, the segregated portion of the lung is termed as azagus lobe. Azagus fissure presents radiologically as an oblique line across the apical portion of the right upper lobe, terminating in a teardrop shadow that represents the azagus vein seen on the end. Branching just before the aortic level, level of aortic arch, that is tracheal carina, marks the bifurcation of the right and left main bronchi. Left main bronchus angles 40 to 60 degrees. It extends longer than the right main bronchus as it circumvents the left side of the heart. Whereas right main bronchus deviates only 20 to 30 degrees, follows nearly straight path into the right lower lobe bronchus. Straight course of the right main bronchus predisposes to aspiration in the upright portion. Right lung, the main bronchus divides into right upper lobe bronchus and a short segment. 
the bronchus intermedius which then divides into the middle and lower lobe bronchi upper lobe bronchus divides into three segmental bronchi middle lobe bronchus divides into medial and lateral segmental bronchi right lower lobe bronchus is quite short due to abrupt takeoff of the lower lobe superior segmental bronchus lower lobe bronchus then proceeds towards more distal bifurcations are the four basal segmental bronchi left lung the main left main bronchus divides into upper and lower branches left upper lobe bronchus branches into superior division which gives rise to epico posterior and anterior segmental branches inferior is the lingular division lower lobe bronchus divides into superior segmental bronchus as on the right and continues as four basal segmental divisions bronchi tree the bronchi accompany the pulmonary arteries as bronco vascular bundles surrounded by connective tissue sheath with each division the caliber of airways narrows number of airway divisions varies among lobes a axial pathway is a pathway that is from bronchus main bronchus to terminal bronchus or bronchiole axial pathway is from the main bronchus to the terminal bronchiole may contain as many as 25 divisions or as few as five airway generations along shorter pathway then we go on to describe the competency the bronchopulmonary segment for localization of lung lesions it is important to understand the bronchopulmonary segments bronchopulmonary segment refers to that portion of lung supplied by a segmental bronchus bronchopulmonary segments do not have defined anatomic boundaries a pathologist must estimate the localization of a segment based on the supplying airway jackson huber first gave the terminology the terminology of the bronchopulmonary segment is originally proposed by jackson huber in comparison to right lung the apical and posterior segments of the left lobe upper lobe and the anterior and medial basal segments of the left lower lobe are often each supplied by a single bronchus referred to as epico posterior and anterior medial basal segments lingula is composed of superior and inferior segment as compared to the medial and lateral segments of the right middle lobe bronchopulmonary segment contain a well defined area of lung well demarcated from the neighboring segments apex of the segment lies towards the hilum base is at the visceral pleura in clinical practice individual segments are described in topographic anatomical terms melinko modern methods of examination of the bronchi were linked to the name melinko melinko's fundamental work marked the beginning of the discovery of more extensive bronchial anatomy he showed that bronchi are so variable that it is not even always possible to find the 10 branches on the right side and 9 on the left as described by the previous authors segmentectomy segmentectomy is commonly performed in surgical procedures of the lungs variations the classical textbook description of the anatomical arrangement of the bronchopulmonary segments are 80% in the remaining 20% variations were observed supernumerary lobes were frequently found on the right side esophagus lobe are formed when parietal and visceral layers of the pleura are pushed deeply into the lung parenchyma by the esophagus vein so that a pseudo lobe is cut off from the upper lobe thank you